This is Shane with Motorsport Diesel. We're going to show you how we test an injector with the Common Rail Mastermind. We'll show you we've got our injector here in the fixture. Uh, we've got our safety shield. If there was any fuel spray, it would be contained behind the shield. We're connected to the uh, CP3 pump down here. We also have our Mastermind connected to the fuel control actuator here to control uh, the CP3 pump output. And we've got our uh, connection here to the rail pressure sensor so we can monitor rail pressure. Uh, by just using the Mastermind here, uh, I'll put it on a test for you. Put it on one. We can enter a value and this will control the idle state of the vehicle. Obviously we can do other tests with this as well. Uh, as you can see there, in the bottom left of the screen, a flow. Uh, we've got a flow meter that we can hook up to the uh, output of the CP3 and we can uh, put in different values up here and we can see how this changes the flow. And if we're calling for more pressure and our flow rate keeps increasing then obviously we've got a problem with our pump and you know, we've got specific specifications for that as well. Uh, this is our um, CP3 and injector driver. This high voltage puts out over 100 volts DC. And uh, we've got our um, graduate cylinders that uh, gather the fluid so we can measure it and see what our return rate is on this side, see what our injected quantity volume is on this side. I'm going to go ahead and start the truck up, and uh, we're going to run a 1600 bar test. And uh, once we get it up and going and get the rail pressure established, uh, we're going to look right now and see like there's about 118 milliliters in here that's not going to change but the return is because anytime the engine's running we're going to have return fuel dripping out of here so once uh looks like we're at about 122 there so once we uh get the engine running we'll come back and see what those see what the value is in the return and we'll take note of that idling right now at mm, about 350 bar. Right, the test we're going to run will be a 1600 bar injector test. It'll be three. It'll be vehicle testing. We'll enter a one. And then for 1600 bar, we'll enter one. See the rail pressure come right down. We're going to go ahead and initiate the test. See we've got fuel coming out. Coming into our beaker. And looks like we're at about 140 on the return once we start the test. Uh, not looking for supreme accuracy on this one. Uh, otherwise, as soon as we start the injection pulses, we would have uh, read what the return rate is. Just want to kind of get my ballpark to show you how this thing operates. And the top right shows how many pulses we're on, uh, 300. You can see how it's maintaining the rail pressure. And it's going to drop every time the injector hits. You can see it 1580 to 1600 roughly every time it hits. And this is, this is actually averaging the bar. So what you're seeing there uh, is not as it's really happening because we have to average it. Otherwise the numbers will be changing so fast you wouldn't even know what kind of pressure it was putting out. So this is a pretty good approximation of where it's at, all right. And we'll push stop twice. It brings our idle right back down where it was. Let's go ahead and shut the truck off here. And that completes a 1600 bar test. Like I said, we were at uh, 117 or somewhere along those lines. Um, this is a stock injector that we've got in the fixture and looks like we put out about a hundred and uh, looks like about that would be about 212 and I think we were at 117 roughly they'll put out about 88 to 90 milliliters somewhere along those lines uh, in the return we said we were at what, 135 
and we're at uh, 195 uh, that's about 60 that's still within specification so uh, we would have to give this injector a passing grade but uh, there's no other tool like this that exists in the world that I've seen so a uh, unique product here from Motorsport Diesel called the Common Rail Mastermind it does more than just injector testing uh, like you saw we can actually run the truck maintain the rail pressure uh, with our programming uh, we can check the relief valve, the rail pressure sensor, we can measure the flow from the CP3 pump. We can do a full common rail system test with